After the 2008 housing market collapse, a lot of people suffered, but many also profited. A joint investigation by WFAA and ABC stations across the country found that a mega company with ties to President Trump is making big money renting foreclosed homes to families, but it's also racking up complaints from tenants like some North Texas newlyweds who say they were taken advantage of. Here's Charlotte Huffman. Might just stay there forever. That's right. <laughs> Rent easy, live well. That slogan and these smiling faces. It's quiet and it's clean. <laughs> and nice neighbors. Are what Waypoint Homes wants you to see. Home, I would definitely suggest Waypoint Homes. But this <gasps> was reality for Carlos and Ebony January. Man, I call it the house of horrors. Because that's how bad it was. They documented their problems while living in this $2,000 a month rent house located, ironically, on Promise Land Drive. Waypoint Homes owns the house and 2,200 others in North Texas. They're an Arizona company, which merged last week with Dallas-based Invitation Homes. Combined, they now have 80,000 rental properties across the U.S. Tom Barrick founded and led the company before the merger. He's one of Donald Trump's closest billionaire friends. Barrick raised millions for Trump's campaign, and when it came time for Trump's inauguration, Trump appointed him the man in charge to run the show. Like President Trump, Tom Barrick is a real estate mogul. And he's the kind of real estate mogul who has always made his money by profiting off of other people's pain. Erin Glantz has tracked Barrick's rental home acquisitions for the Center for Investigative Reporting. Critics like Glantz say the company is quick to evict, charges excessive fees, and rents out homes riddled with maintenance issues, yet profits are way up. And if you look at their filings for their shareholders, they brag. Maintenance costs are going down. Income from late fees and seizing people's security deposit is going up. All of this is good news for them. Online, reviews have been brutal. Our joint investigation with ABC and affiliate stations found unhappy customers across the country. It's still dripping right there. I've had a pretty terrible experience. You're an absentee landlord. At best. The Januarys told us they didn't know about the slew of negative reviews Waypoint had when they signed their Frisco lease. A nice master bedroom, bathroom, had four bedrooms upstairs, downstairs, two living rooms. So it was it was really what we were looking for. But after two water leaks, one downstairs because the carpet in the master bedroom got soaking wet. And one that filled the ceiling with water. The Januarys had had enough. Well, I happened to go to a hotel for a month or two months and not actually living in the house, but you're still paying rent every month and not live there. That's just, that's crazy. One disappointed resident is one too many. We're committed to working with residents. But Charles Young is chief operating officer of Invitation Homes, a title he also had at Waypoint before the merger. If you can, you look across all of our residents, 99% are having great experience. A satisfaction rate not reflected in the company's Better Business Bureau rating, which gives the company a D plus, finding a pattern of complaints involving repair and customer service issues. So we're in the business of providing safe, solid, high quality homes, and we take that responsibility very seriously. If we can get better, that's what we want to do. The Januarys have moved on as well to a much smaller apartment, but a place where they feel they won't be taken advantage of. They just do not care because it's all at the end of the day to them it's about money and that's what that's what they see as numbers. They don't see you as an individual. They see you as we're making money off this person. Charlotte Huffman, Channel 8 News. If you have something you'd like our investigative team to look into, send them your tips. Their email is investigates at WFAA.com.